As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death Fight my way through the darkness where the wicked don't rest Conscious aware truth I dare shield tied to my chest My tenacity gon' put these motherfuckers to the test High priestess of fire, alchemist of desire I stay manifest and shit even when I am tired You can call me a mason by the bricks I be laying But you'll never call me lazy cause my vibes ain't devastating What's up, Pisces in the building? All right, Pisces, let's get it. Let's see what's going on for you in the month of November. Let's see. Getting us some added guidance. I will read this card in the extended, but I will tell you what I'm feeling off of it. Um, all right, you got lost compass, getting back to integrity. So you've been a little lost in your energy. You might have done some not so nice things. Um, we all know what the not so nice things that break us down, make us feel like shit, make us feel like, you know, we've we've uh, lost. Nobody will want us after we've done these certain things, right? Um, so you've kind of lost your way. This month is about getting back to who you are, getting back to your authenticity, feeling that very strongly. Um, again, I will read it in the extended, but so let's get into it and see. What do we got? We're going to do the wheel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're uh, returning, welcome back. I will explain the wheel as I go around. All right. All right. So first house is Aries. You are very stuck. <laughs> You have been very stuck. It goes right along with that. So you're very stuck. Aries rules the first house, which is the house of self. Uh, this is everything to do with you. Um, this is everything to do with, um, you know, it's just that kind of thing like, um, it's like self-development, but taking care of yourself, making decisions for you. I feel like you're lost and you don't know what you need to do whatever whatever's going on in your life you've just been in this place of not you're just stuck and it's all mental this mental stuck of of telling yourself there's nothing i can do i don't have no choice and and you do this is you know letting us know with the eight of swords that you do have a choice you just need to make it you need to just take a step um forward in your life and you're stuck in this in this moment okay but you got to take action um Second house, which is the house of Taurus, is everything to do with your finances, your um, money, stocks, bonds, uh, bank accounts, all of that stuff, real estate. Ace of Wands in the reverse is also about our values. There could be something changing with your values as we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So there's this energy of being like, damn, you know, what's really going on? Um, and you need, again, not taking action. And the thing that I don't like in this placement is because it's actually your finances, right? It's actually connected to your money um, and your wealth. And so you're not taking action. So that means you're going to be fucking up your own money. Okay. Um, third house, which is the house of Gemini, that is communication uh, messages. And we got the two of, of coins in the reverse. So I do feel like if you've been trying to, um, if you've been trying to get some um, bills paid, I do feel like that's happening. I think you've been going back and forth whether or not to communicate, talk to someone, answer the phone, um, and that might be what's coming out. I, again, I'm not seeing action here. In the extent, we'll go further and see what is this because I feel like you've been going back and forth with your energy, so your energy is coming out as not confused because I think you know what you need to do, um, but you one minute you're going to do it, then the next minute you're not to. So if this is about communicating with someone, um, I feel like you've been back and forth in your energy. Uh, fourth house is the house of cancer. It is our heart space. It's our home. It's home is where the heart is, right? It's our soul. Um, you have been in a place of just really wanting to give up, right? nine of of wands in the reverse you've been through a lot pisces you've been through a lot you're beating your your soul see lost lost feeling like you're beaten feeling like nothing's going the way you wanted to your soul needs a healing in a half like you really got to get down that soul and heal there's a part of you that just wants to give up there's a part of you that is giving up and hopefully we can change that outlook as you watch this so that you're not 
in that dark space. I do feel like you're very stuck mentally, emotionally, and energetically. Um, and I feel like you're going to need to take a step forward to get out of this energy, but it's going to need to take you to get out of this darkness. Pisces, you are the king and queen of darkness, okay? You guys go into a dark space. It's your natural state, but sometimes it could actually work against you. Fifth house, which is the house of Leo, um, everything to do with dating, romance, hobbies, entertainment, and the spotlight. Page of Wands is here. Spirit is telling you to lighten up, um, do some things that are fun for you. And, and some of you might be, well, I'm broke and I don't have no money. Not everything that's fun, you need money. Some shit is free, okay? <laughs> you got to choose happiness, right? You could choose to walk down the street and see the flowers and smell the roses, or you could choose to sit in your home and fucking be depressed. Like, it's really a choice. So th these are your choices here, okay? Um, but you're getting the energy to be playful, to not be so serious. Um, Virgo energy, uh, which is the sixth house. We got the four of wands in the reverse. So this is your day-to-day. -day. Virgo represents your day-to-day -day routine. Um, people you see every day, your job every day, the, you know, your health. Um, also you got the four of ones in the reverse. So definitely got a separation energy, Pisces, you and someone have separated, or this could just be your foundation is not solid. So whatever your foundation was, even if it was work, it's not solid. It's definitely not working and you're going to need to take action to fix this. Okay. Especially with home life, definitely looking like you just want to throw in the towel, like, fuck this. I just want to be done with this shit. Right. Seventh house, which is the house of Libra. Um, this is your also marriage house. This is your partner house, your relationships, as well as contracts and legalities. You got the full card here. So there is a new beginning here. And I love to see this in the seventh house because um, this could be a new beginning in business. This could be a new beginning in relationships, or you could be playing the fool. But we're going to see that in the extended when we do the clarifications. Okay. Hopefully it's not you being a fool. Hopefully it is you. Um, taking a leap of faith into a new direction. Eighth house, which is the house of Scorpio. Um, Scorpio is sex, death, and rebirth. Um, again, this is a very intense house. So whatever it is that you're about to do, because you're about to do something, it is going to be a game changer for you. Two of wands, take action. Spirit says, you know what to do already. Go ahead and do it. There's no reason to hold back. Um, ninth house is the house of Sagittarius. Um, that is our traditions and belief systems, amongst other things. Um, there's there's this energy of either whatever you were building, whatever limiting belief systems you had did not work. You couldn't build a foundation with those limiting belief systems. You couldn't build a relationship with those limiting belief systems. You couldn't build a business with those limiting belief systems. So again, Spirit is telling you that it's time to let whatever this go that's been holding you back and take some action, take a leap of faith, okay? Uh, 10th house, which is the house of Capricorn. Um, this is the house of your career, your prestige, how people see you. Um, eight of cups. You probably have walked away from some, I definitely feel like you've walked away from some type of business or some type of, um, it's like some type of business or job. And you're just like, I'm done with this because I do feel like there's a part of you that's just like, this is not going in the way that I want. Everything I've put all the time and effort into this, it didn't fucking pan out. And it didn't. It didn't pan out to the way you want. So it's time to kind of let something go. Um, 11th house, which is the house of Aquarius. This is the house of the collective, but it's also inventions, ideas, and also social groups. You know something or you're keeping something to yourself. Um, but you are the high priestess energy right now. So that means you're very in tune with what you need to do. Again, hence spirit telling you that you need to do something. Okay. <laughs> Whatever spirit is telling us we need to do something or we need to, or we know something already. You already know this is a confirmation of what you already know coming up for you this month. And you know that you need to take action in this energy. You cannot sit still anymore. And then Pisces, your own house is the justice uh, card is there. Pisces, you're the 12th house. Everything to do with subconscious, uh, hidden enemies, um, what you don't see coming, and also um, fantasy and illusions. But you have the justice card. So definitely karma is being served. If you have any legalities, it's probably going to be in your, uh, in your, um, for you, not against you. Okay. 
And if there is, a, it could be possible divorce or separation here with the justice card though also. So in the extended, we will look at that. Um, because I do feel like there's a new beginning here after a close out of something. And I do see separation here. So for some of you, this is the end. The divorce is, is here. Maybe that's what you don't see coming is that this person actually submitted for a divorce. Or there's actually the severance in a pay or severance in a job. Okay. I don't have a lot of coins. So this feels more relationship than um, coins. But it also could be a loss of a contract. Okay. But I feel like even if there is a loss of a contract, there's a new contract that comes in. Uh, see, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Coins, and the Two of Cups, okay? So we ain't going to look at this Three of Swords here, okay? Because I do feel like, like I said, I do feel like there's there's an ending of a relationship. But again, it makes me feel like maybe there's the ending to a chapter of a relationship. Like maybe it's not over completely, but what was can't be. So we only can move forward if we do something new. We only can move forward if we try this differently. We cannot do it the same way. There is no going back to what was. Very deep connection with the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. That means somebody feels like home. Somebody is solely connected. Very deep soulmates is the Two of Cups. Page of Pentacles, the lack of opportunity is because something needs to change, okay? Um I'm going to go around one more time before I get into the extended version. Um, and then we're going to do the Kipper and we will do more tarot. If you're dealing with an Aries, this person is very stuck. They don't know how to move forward. They don't know how to reach out to you in the extended. We'll look a little bit deeper and see what they're going to do. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is not making any moves towards you. Um, I feel like there's a, a lack of either sexual compatibility or the desire is not there in the extended we'll, we'll see more about that if you're dealing with the gemini i feel like gemini has made a decision we will see an extended is it for you or against you um if you're dealing with a cancer it looks like they've given up on the situation again in the extended we'll look deeper in that if you're dealing with a leo this looks like a a new leo a very flirty leo um coming in um very new situation um if you're dealing with the virgo um, it looks like you and the Virgo have separated in the extended. We'll see if you and the Virgo are coming back around. Uh, if you're dealing with a Libra, it looks like they want to take a leap of faith. We will go into it further to see what are their true intentions. Uh, if you're dealing with Scorpio, Scorpio is about to make a decision about you. They haven't yet, but they're about to. And it looks like they're they're maybe coming towards you. We'll see what that is. If you're dealing with the Sag, this Sag has been like, um, this was a burden to the Sag. So the, surgeon, the Sag has dropped this burden. Uh, we'll see if there's any hope for you in the Sag. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, it looks like the Capricorn walked away. Now, the thing about it is whoever walked away is um, looking at the situation as possibly they messed up or or did they make the right choice, okay? Um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you and this Aquarius have a very deep bond, but unfortunately, you could be a secret or this situation between you and the Aquarius could be a secret. Um, and I don't know if you want to be the mistress or, or, you know, or just this, this is something that we can't publicly show, like, this could be even friends, like you guys are friends, so you're kind of just on the low. Um, but there might be a reason why this Aquarius is not allowing you or allowing the situation to become public. There's some of someone wanting to keep stuff uh, very uh, kind of hush hush. Well, in the extent it will look into that of why. Um, and uh, the justice is here in the 12th. If you're dealing with another Pisces, Pisces could be married to someone else. But again, this could also be the judgment and divorce coming in, as I do feel that with the separation energy. So um, come on over to Vimeo. It is down here in the description. Uh, go ahead and click on the link and we'll go on over to Vimeo and look uh, and see more into what's going on. Um, if not, I'll see you on the next one. As always, sending you guys so much love, so much light. Until next time. Bye. High priestess of fire, alchemist of desire I stay manifest and shit even when I am tired You can call me a mason by the bricks I be laying But you'll never call me lazy cause my vibes say devastating